What's up everyone, Garrett here and welcome to Code the Web. In this video, we're going to be talking about images and how to incorporate images and text within your website or just your graphic designs in general. So I've got five tips for you guys today and we're going to take a look at also some examples that go along with each tip. The first one is color contrast. So as you can see in this first example, uh, this is a guy eating a donut. It's pretty black and white. There is, it's not a black and white image, but it's, there's not that much color in it. So what you can do is you can either just, uh, since it's very uh, light, it's a very bright picture, you can put, um, say, maybe some darker text in the corner, or you could also brighten it up a little bit and put some colored text, such as a nice red or a blue or something like that. Something that would really make it stand out, make it more noticeable, and ultimately make your website experience more enjoyable for your users. As you can see with this next example as well, it's a bridge and it's the opposite. It's actually a pretty dark picture. So what you can do is there's really no need for color in this one, I don't think. What I would do is I would just have nice, big, white or very off-white um, text. And I think that'll really bring in your viewer's attention. So this next one is contrast through size and positioning. And what you can do here is, as you can see in this first example right here, is that... Um, it's, there's a lot going on in the bottom and in the top there's not much going on but overall each individual element within the image is pretty small so what you can do is you, you, you can have big text in the top in the sky area or you can make it smaller so you have a lot like more that you want to say not a whole paragraph but just let's say a line that's going to go more or less from end to end or from the full width of the image you can make it small and overall it won't be too dramatic for the viewer or for the user of your website to take their attention from the text to the uh, to the buildings down below it'll be really really nice if it's nice and small to the point or you can also easily go the other way and take something really general like two or three words and just be much bigger so this next one is more of a positioning part of this contrast and um, this is a guy riding a skateboard and uh, what we can do here is there's really no point in putting the text right over the action, what, right over the subject of what's going on in the image. Instead, what you can do is there's some room to the side, or I guess for you guys it would be this side, I think, right? Um, and uh, we could put our text there. That way, we're not taking away from what's actually going on in the image, and we're also able to convey a message to our user. So really what we're doing is just kind of adding another subject and the point is that we don't we want to add another subject and that'd be the text without taking away from the already sub from the subject that's already in the image. All right. So another thing I'd like to tell you guys about is readability through depth. So a lot of times there's we've got a lot of stuff happening inside of our image and we don't want to take away from what's going on. So we want to create depth within the image. And so maybe if we've got a lot of stuff going on in the background, we make our text big so it looks like it's in the foreground and it adds depth to the image and ultimately it adds contrast. And contrast makes things easier for users and viewers to differentiate between what's going on in the image. So in this example right here, we've got a girl walking down a street and um, she's carrying some balloons. But while she is the main subject in the foreground, there is a lot going on in the background and that'd be the trees and grass and things like that. So what we can do is maybe find something in the middle to add some depth and, con and uh, contrast that way. Or we could solely make it, maybe make it even bigger and focus on just allow the, um, allow the background to remain with a lot of depth and add some big text that makes it so there's two images within the foreground, sorry, so there's two subjects within the foreground. And what we can do is we can all, oh, we knocked over my cup. We can also incorporate um, some of the other tips, which was contrast and color, and maybe make our text something that's gonna contrast with the other colors in the image. So we have a lot of green, so we'll make it something that's not anywhere near green. Or we have a lot of blues or whites because of the sky, so we'll make it something that's not blue or white. Um, something like that. So just, we can mix and match some of these tips and some of these ideas to create a really, really awesome user experience. All right, guys, here's the most important and also the last tip that I have for you guys, and that is choosing the right image. 
So if you have a website that sends a message on something very specific, you're gonna to want to find the image that sends a message similar to what your messages or what your message is from your overall website. It's called product and just I guess alignment of what your brand alignment of what you're doing. And you don't want to have an image that says something totally different about what you're trying to convey through your website. You want to use images that grab the user's attention, that are interesting, that look well with the text that you're going to be including in them, and most importantly, like I said, align with your website's message or your brand's overall message. So this first example is something really interesting. Say you're making a band website. Perhaps the image that you want to use for your hero image or your slider or whatever it is you have is maybe of someone playing an instrument or of a band um, or someone in a band playing an instrument like I have right here. And this example is um, someone playing an instrument. It doesn't show his face, but it's someone who's in a band. He's dressed up in a costume if he's posing or he's actually in a band. And he is playing an instrument. And then on the side, we can put in the red area right there, uh, we can put text that says something about not necessarily this person, but just about our overall message. And the idea is that we want to grab our user's attention and show what we're talking about. And hopefully, if they came to our website because they're interested in what we're talking about, hopefully they will um, they'll find meaning in our message and they'll want to know more about us. Don't forget, we can use elements from these other tips such as contrast and size or contrast and color or contrast and depth. And we can incorporate them and make an awesome experience for our users ultimately sending a message that has to do with uh, with our website so that's kind of what you can use an image for and I guess really the the, the home page or the, the hero image I know that's a web design tip that we went over and that's what you can use it for it's all about conveying your message to your user or to your potential customer or client so as always guys thank you for watching uh, this video if you did enjoy it definitely subscribe because we're talking about awesome stuff like this every week and so you should subscribe so you don't miss any of that also comment I would love to know what you guys think about the video and uh, yeah so I will see you Friday peace